and welcome back. So in this video, we shall take a look at how you can start patching your VMDB system. Now guys, uh, as you, most of you already know that when you're talking about patching, we have to talk of patching at different layers. So you have to patch your grid, grid infrastructure layer, then you have to patch your Oracle RDBMS layer and you patch your database, right? So this is the normal way that we've been following. So let's take a look how you can actually achieve this in the world of cloud or with Oracle Cloud. Uh, the thing is that it's pretty simple when we're talking about Oracle uh, Cloud Infrastructure and especially the console. So as you know, like this is our VMDB screen. So all you need to do is you just need to go to patches, right? When you go on patches, you will see that it actually shows you which are the latest patches available. Let's say we had been on 19.8 release. Then you would have seen that you would have a row for 19.9 and a row for 19.10. But still, but since we are already on 19.9, .9, so the latest patch which is available from Oracle is 19.10. So that's why you see that only 19.10 is actually visible to you. Now patching is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All you need to do is click here and you have two options. I would highly recommend that you first do your run pre-check. So run pre-check is just simple. The way that we used to do Opatch Auto and just check the prereqs the same way Oracle does that. And for this video, I'm not going to do a run pre-check, but I'll, I'll always recommend that you run pre-check, wait for some time because again, it takes time. The only thing what I noticed is with Oracle, Oracle Cloud, uh, you need to be a bit patient. Things work, but they take their own sweet time. So yes, you have to wait. Uh, so what we can do now is we can just simply work on apply in this case because I previously ran a, a run pre-check. So it clearly say, says that the action might result in database downtime. So are you, are you sure you want to apply the patch? Just just think because you had your databases up and running, you have your RDBM associated, and here we are talking about patching the grid infrastructure layer. So that's why it's saying your database will go down uh, when this happens. So just simply say submit, All right? Now, when you say submit, you'll say, uh, you will see that your um, state, uh, which was currently set as more, more of like available, you'll see that it gets changed into applying. Now, here, here is the catch. So you might think that uh, you as a DBA or, or, or a database consultant, you should be able to see what is happening at the back end. It's very difficult, especially with the console. Why it is difficult? Because what happens here, it's just showing applying. There are two ways. Either just go and have a, grab a cup of coffee, sandwich, come back, and you see you're, you're all up and running in green. But if you're more inquisitive, then you can look at things like work re requests. So if you, if you see work requests, after some time, you will see that a work request comes up where it shows that Oracle has actually started patching uh, your, your infrastructure. And, and again, uh, the level of logging that you're expecting, you might not get that level of logging because there are only certain things which are actually logged inside the work log. So if we, if we try and see what, what is coming up, you'll, you'll see that it is actually updating. Yes, and that's what I wanted to show you. It shows that the patch DB system is, as, is at around 15%. Again, uh, th there is not much level of information you will get. So just showing that the uh, checking the patching prereqs, patching DB systems. But if you're more inquisitive DBA who really wants to see what is happening at the back end, the best way I would propose is just simply go back to your session right so just either do user one app or a inventory so i'm just showing you the places from where you can actually get some logging information if you are actually interested what's happening at the back end right so here you can see that some work is being done this is this is like one area from where you can you can see things are happening or there is another area which I normally use, Oracle Home CFG tool logs. And you go to Opatch, right? And you can just simply tail your Opatch log files. And you can see that, that yes, uh, based on the time or, or there is like some kind of update happening. So again, 
uh, there is nothing much you can do either either as i said uh, you can just wait here watch this or if you are more inquisitive or watch what is going on so just keep on uh, looking at different directories because after some time what will happen you will actually see a directory called opatch auto a lot of logging information goes in that as well so if you want to just keep an eye what's happening on the system that's the best place where you can go or as i showed you user one app um, say or inventory logs is another place where you can get some kind of logging information and uh, the other is the oracle home cfg tool logs so again guys i think let's give it time as i said with oracle cloud you need to be patient you need to wait so let it run it's doing a lot of hard work in the background it's actually patching your system it's patching your grid infrastructure so we'll wait we'll give it some time and we'll uh, come back to the video thanks for watching time you'll notice that a new directories would uh, come up like previously you could see just opatch now there'd be o plan opatch auto db opatch auto so what i normally do is i just simply go to opatch auto and you can always um, keep a tail on uh, on the progress just to see how things are progressing because as i told you on the front end you'll just see something like this but since we are more back end guys it's always good to just keep an eye on how the things are progressing so there, there's this binary log so just keep a tail on this and you can see uh, what all things are uh, progressing so you can see in the back end it's actually doing some sessions so your patch analysis is taking place at the moment so it's it's as you know like with grid infrastructure there are always a certain set of patches that it has to apply so currently it's actually uh, doing an analysis against all those sub patches and if, if you see here it shows uh, the an analysis is, is pretty much complete so patch analysis completed so once that is done then it will start working on the actual application of the patch so as i said it takes its own sweet time so let it run just keep watching thanks guys that you will get something like patch db system succeeded 100 percent as as you can see it takes like around roughly 45 minutes and that's the kind of time normally you would have um, observed on a, on a say non-cloud system as well so yes it, but uh, it's always good uh, as i say what is not checked is not done so always good to check it from the back end so previously you guys might remember that we checked uh, and we were on 19.9 release so let's see uh, how it's looking now so if i do o patch ls patches and see what it comes up with so it's looking for the patch version and it should uh, now give it to you and as you can see it has actually upgraded it to 19.10 here and ACFS release is 19.10 right so it clearly shows that it has upgraded uh, the grid infrastructure successfully guys just one thing i want to tell you here if you are thinking that you have patched your whole database system that is not the case you have just patched one layer which is the grid infra why i say is and that's why i say what is not checked is not done if you go to oracle and you do the same thing oracle home o patch o patch ls patches you will see that you are still at 19.9 release right so you're still at database release update still shows us 19.9 if you want to have further evidence you can always go to something like here also you can see it's 19.9 so if you go to dba registry sql patch here also you can see let's say if we select description and we select say target version from DBA registry SQL patch so you'll see that it you are still at actually 19.9 so whatever work has been done has been done only on the grid infra layer and just going back now there is nothing there in patches so previously you were seeing some ch patches now it means that you are actually at the current or as oracle says up to date level thanks guys in next video we shall take a look how you can patch your database layer thanks